Alice and Bob are two commonly used placeholder names. They are used for archetypal characters in fields such as cryptography, game theory and physics. The names are used for convenience. For example, Alice sends a message to Bob encrypted with his public key is easier to follow than Party A sends a message to Party B encrypted by Party B's public key. Following the alphabet, the specific names have evolved into common parlance within these fields a euro helping technical topics to be explained in a more understandable fashion. Overview, these placeholder names are used for convenience and easier understanding. For example, if a writer wants to explain encrypted emails, the explanation might be, 1. Alice gets Bob's public key from the company directory. 2. Alice sends a message to Bob encrypted with Bob's public key. 3. Bob can use his secret key to unscramble it. Every reader can intuitively figure out that they themselves could do the same thing as Bob or Alice. In cryptography and computer security, there are a number of widely used names for the participants in discussions and presentations about various protocols. The names are conventional, somewhat self-suggestive, sometimes humorous, and effectively act as metasyntactic variables. In typical implementations of these protocols, it is understood that the actions attributed to characters such as Alice or Bob need not always be carried out by human parties directly, but also by a trusted automated agent on their behalf. Cast of characters. This list is drawn mostly from the book Applied Cryptography by Bruce Schneier. Alice and Bob are archetypes in cryptography. Eve is also common. Names further down the alphabet are less common. Alice and Bob. Generally, Alice wants to send a message to Bob. These names were used by Ron Revist in the 1978 Communications of the ACM article presenting the RSA cryptosystem and in a method for obtaining digital signatures and public key cryptosystems published April 4, 1977, revised September 1, 1977, as technical memo LCSTM 82. Carol, Carlos or Charlie, as a third participant in communications. Chuck, as a third participant usually of malicious intent. Craig, the password cracker. Dan or Dave, a fourth participant. Aaron, a fifth participant. Eve, an eavesdropper, is usually a passive attacker. While she can listen in on messages between Alice and Bob, she cannot modify them. In quantum cryptography, Eve may also represent the environment. Faith, a trusted advisor, courier or intermediary. Frank, a sixth participant. Mallet or Mallory, a malicious attacker. Unlike the passive Eve, this one is the active man in the middle attacker who can modify messages, substitute their own messages, replay old messages, and so on. The difficulty of securing a system against Mallet Mallory is much greater than against Eve. Oscar, an opponent, similar to Mallet Mallory but not necessarily malicious. Could be white hat but still wants to crack, modify, substitute, or replay messages. Peggy, approver, and Victor. A verifier, often must interact in some way to show that the intended transaction has actually taken place. They are often found in zero-knowledge proofs. Alternate names for the prover and the verifier are Pat and Vanna after Pat Sajak and Vanna White, the hosts of Wheel of Fortune. Sybil, an attacker who marshals a large number of pseudonymous identities, for example to subvert a reputation system. See Sybil attack. Trent a trusted arbitrator, is some kind of neutral third party, whose exact role varies with the protocol under discussion. Walter, a warden, may be needed to guard Alice and Bob in some respect, depending on the protocol being discussed. Wendy, a whistleblower, is an insider with privileged access who may be in a position to divulge the information. Although an interactive proof system is not quite a cryptographic protocol, it is sufficiently related to mention the cast of characters its literature features, Arthur and Merlin, in interactive proof systems, the prover has unbounded computational ability and is hence associated with Merlin, the powerful wizard from the Arthurian legend. He claims the truth of a statement, and Arthur, the wise king, questions him to verify the claim. These two characters also give the name for two complexity classes, namely MA and AM. 
a similar pair of characters is Paul and Carol. The characters were introduced in the solution of the 20 questions problem, where Paul, who asked questions, stood for Paul Edis and Carol, who answered them, was an anagram of Oracle. They were further used in certain combinatorial games in the roles of pusher and chooser respectively, and have since been used in various roles. See also, metasyntactic variable, placeholder name. References. Further reading, C. H. Lindsay, Regulation of Investigatory Powers Bill, Some Scenarios, 2000. External links, A Method for Obtaining Digital Signatures and Public Key Cryptosystems, The Alice and Bob After Dinner Speech, given at the Zurich Seminar, April 1984, by John Gordon, Geek Song, Alice and Bob, Alice and Bob Jokes, Alice and Bob, IT's Inseparable Couple, A Short History of Bobs in the Computing Industry, from Alice and Bob to Microsoft Bob and Father of Ethernet Bob Metcalf.